Now to the pandemic and a long-awaited development, Moderna says it will ask for emergency authorization of its coronavirus vaccine for children five and under. Now it's up to regulators to decide if the pediatric doses are safe and effective if they agree. CBS News' Dr. Max Gomez says the shots could be given out by the summer. They are the only Americans still not eligible for COVID shots. More than 18 million babies, toddlers, and preschoolers are in the five and under age group. Now, interim results from Moderna's clinical trial show that volunteers in that age group had a similar immune response to young adults when given a dose one-fourth as strong. But the firm said the vaccine proved only about 44% effective in preventing symptomatic illness among children six months to two years old and 37% effective in children two through five years old. While those numbers seem low, the dean of the CUNY School of Public Health points out they do offer important protection. Despite the fact that uh, younger children do not seem to have the full-blown symptoms of COVID, but now we know two things. Number one, that they are much more likely to suffer from long-haul COVID, uh, which leaves them with weakness, inability to concentrate, and other symptoms for months on end. And we also know <clears throat> that uh, younger children are more prone to a serious complication which is the multi-system inflammatory uh, disease, which uh, can leave them with serious organ damage uh, over time. So uh, I think that uh, COVID protection should be taken very seriously in this age group. The majority of side effects in the pediatric vaccine were mild. And as in adults, Moderna expects that young children will need a booster down the road. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS2 News.